Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Friday reviewer, Chris, from Chris B Movies. You know my name is Chris, and you know I love B Movies. Now, the movie I'm going to review is a film from Hulu. I watched it on Hulu. Um, I believe it is a Hulu original, and it's called No Exit. It's a film from 2022, directed by Damien Power. And this was a really fun film. Um, it was fun. My wife even liked it, so we watched it together. Uh, it's good to share moments like that together, isn't it? So it starts off with Darby, who um, is in rehab. And it's a core point of rehab, so if she doesn't stick to it, she gets thrown in jail. Now, she's not very close with her family. Actually, her family think very less of her. Um, they don't talk to her. They kind of were a little estranged from her. But her brother calls and says that her mother's dying. Now, she's been estranged from her mother for years. Her mother just kind of wrote her out, uh, made it as though she never had her as a daughter. And But Darby's mother's dying, and it is her mother, so she she wants to go down there and pay her last respects and, you know, try to let her know she loves her before she passes on, and we'll never know. So she calls her sister and says, look, Bro contacted me and said, Mom's dying. I want to go down there. And this is like, not a good idea. She is she doesn't want to see you. And she wrote you off years ago. And it's best you, you, you just don't go there. She's going to pass and just, just let it be. But Darby said, no, I can't do that. So she's incensed of going down and paying the last respects to her mother. So she does leave the rehab. She takes uh, one of the attendants... Uh, uh, car and just takes off after she hot wires it. <laughs> so she's off to pay her last respects to her mother. But in between all that, and while she is traveling, she runs into this big blizzard. So she can't see, so she pulls over and she takes a little snooze until a cop knocks on her door and says, Look, <laughs> you need to get out of here. It's a blizzard. It's terrible. You shouldn't be driving in this. Roads are closed. And he tells her, you can either do two things. You can go that way, which means turn around and go right back to where you came from. Or you can go to this rest stop. There's a big house there. You can just go in and, and wait it out until the blizzard's over. And then go do what you need to do. So she's like, well, I guess I'm going to the rest stop. Because nothing's going to stop me from paying my last respects to my mom. So she goes into the rest stop. And when she opens it, there's um, other people there as well. All the cars there and other people there as well. There's a Marine and his wife who don't look like they match up very well. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> one's kind of rough around the edges and one's a tough Marine. Uh, played by Dennis Haysbert, who's phenomenal in anything. There's this dude, Lars, who's a very simple-minded guy. Easily swayed and uh, kind of seems kind of odd and strange. And there's a guy, Ash, played by Danny Ramirez, who's just snoozing in the background. So Darby is trying to get in touch with her family, but of course there's, there's no way of getting in touch. They're stranded in a blizzard in a house with no Wi-Fi, no way for them to make a call. <clears throat> so the Marine tells her, well, if you go near this tree, there's just a little bit of Wi-Fi, a couple bars, you might be able to, to get something. So as she's going out and trying to text her family, trying to reach her family, saying that I am coming, uh, let her know I'm coming. She hears banging on this, like, van. So as she goes to inspect, she looks in, and she's this little kid all tied up, little six-year-old girl all tied up. Now, the only people that could have done this to this little girl are the people that are in this big house area at the rest stop. <laughs> Building, rather, should we call it. You can call it a house. Kind of looks like a house, though. And um, so now, <laughs> out of all those people that are there, which one abducted this little girl? So that is the mystery that we have to try to find out. And is the mystery tough to tell? Is it tough? Is there swerves? There's a couple swerves here and there, but you kind of know who the uh, who the perpetrator was of all this. Because um, I kind of guessed it. Um, but there was one little swerve that I didn't guess, which is pretty cool. Um, so the question is, who did it? The Marine, maybe his wife, maybe Ash, which is a great name. I'm like, for any character. Or is it Lars, the simple-minded guy? You have to find out by watching No Exit on Hulu. Dennis Haysbert's phenomenal. Um, he's good in everything. You've seen him in those commercials. 
uh, tons of commercials and stuff. And uh, Dale Dickey, who was on True Blood, <laughs> she plays like that old redneck old lady. <laughs> and she played the Marine's wife, who they didn't seem to match up really well. Uh, David Risedale was really good as Lars, and Danny Ramirez as Ash was really good, and Havana Rose Lou as Darby was really fantastic. So the acting was really good in this film. Um, it's not difficult to guess who abducted the little girl. And when you find out, you're like, oh, okay, really? But then there's a swerve, and then there's another swerve. The second swerve I got. The third one was like, oh, okay, cool, this is pretty cool. A um, lot of suspense in the film, and you never really know if she goes to visit her mom. Actually, she does find out. Spoiler alert, that her mother died and she didn't make it to see her mother. Um, but the, th the mysterious thing about this, another spoiler alert, is we really don't know, after everything that happened, <laughs> what happened to the little girl. <laughs> it's kind of strange. <laughs> there were some shootouts, people get killed. Bad stuff happens to good people. Bad stuff happens to bad people. You know, in these films, you know. But it's a lot of fun. Um, and again, I gave you some spoilers, but it's not going to ruin the fun for you. It, it's just a fun film. And it's real scary because being caught in a blizzard is no fun, especially in an unknown place with unknown people you don't really know. And how can you really trust them because you don't really know them? <laughs> but there are some bad people in there who abducted a little girl and did it for cash. Not to hurt the little girl to do anything, but to get cash for some rich people. You know, the girl has some rich parents. Uh, so money, it just shows that money is the root of all evil, and I think that's what this film really perpetrates. <laughs> because um, when you get selfish and you want all the money in the world, well, guess what's going to cost you life, maybe. <laughs> but No Exit is a lot of fun. Definitely check it out. Good acting, good suspense in the film. Um, and plays on a lot of different tropes in the world, you know, drug addiction, um, family issues, abduction, uh, money, getting stingy, want the big, want the big dollar, you know? Uh, so it just plays on a lot of different tropes, but it's, it's a fun film, very well acted, and, um, the ending, although unbelievable, it's like, how do certain people survive certain things, it's somewhat happy. But anyways, check it out. No Exit on Hulu. If you don't have Hulu, get Hulu and watch No Exit. It's a really fun film. Thank you so much for watching. And um, on a scale from 1 to 10, I give it a solid 7. Again, a lot of fun. Not the greatest film I've ever seen. Um, as far as surprises and twists, not the greatest twist you've ever seen, but still a fun, suspenseful film. You should definitely check out. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out all the other reviewers. They do a bang-up job. A lot of good stuff coming this week. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Body Bags and Crispy Movies. If you like, please like. And uh, write something down underneath. Yeah, right down there. And I'll look and I'll respond to you. Oh, yeah. I read them all and I'll definitely respond to you. So thank you so much again for watching. Thanks for all your support. And I'll see you next week. But don't forget to watch those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Max. Don't forget to tune in to another episode of show we call Body Bad. See you next week.